Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my 11 plus channel. So it's been a long time but I'm back now. So this topic is going to be all about time saver tricks. These tricks are very useful. So here are, here's like a quick preview. There are tricks for multiplication, how to quickly find half of an odd number, how to easily find the median of, an, uh, of a number, song for, here's, this is like a little rhyme, for medium mode and range and much more. First useful trick will be multiplication. Now, as you can see here, we have 15, nine times 49, which is 2,891. So if you were, it, this trick has really helps. Usually it would just go like 59 times 49 like that. Instead, you can partition this into 40 and to nine. So then first you keep this number, divide the second number into these two parts. First, what you do is 59 in times 40. This is a part of 49, which is 2,360. Then you do 59 into 9, which is 531. You add them together, which is 2,891. So boom, there's your answer. So 59 times 49 is 2,891. Now that trick is super useful. Instead of going through that tedious long multiplication, adding those extra zeros, um, timesing them like that. I prefer this trick, it's really good. And then, for uh, word problems, there's something called rounding. Instead of doing this, uh, when there's like multiple choice, you can round it, like, so 59 rounded is 60, so 60 is a very close number of 59. Same with 49, you can round it to 50. So then you do 60 times 50, which is 3,000. As we, um, you know, it, it must be a little bit higher or less than 3,000. So then judging by that, you can base it based on this. You can uh, look at your options and make a very sensible guess. Now we move on to addition. Now, usually if you do this, what I like to do is add the, if there are some single digit numbers, we start with two digit numbers in addition. I like to, you know, add the single digit numbers. So uh, three and nine is 12. So then add up the rest of the two digit. Now that will make it very easy and the answer by the way is 92. So that trick, it does help a lot. Instead of going like 49 and uh, 46 and nine, then add that by three and then add 23 and add 11. Uh, you can just add three and nine, which is 12 and then you get your answer really quickly. So here is a really good rhyme to remember your median, your median mode, mean and range. So I'll quickly go through them. So a median, is like when let's say there are lots of there's a group of numbers usually it's odd you have to find them you have to arrange them as ascending order and then pick the middle option uh so that's median then on mode is the one you see the most let's say there's five five three two the mode of that will be five because five occurs the most in that uh then the mean is when you add up all the numbers like five add three, let's say, which is eight, and then divide by how many numbers there are, and there are two numbers, so eight divided by two is four. So four is the mean of like uh, that uh, equation. So here, and range finally is like, let's say one and eight, the range is seven. From one to eight is seven, you add them and you get. So seven is like the difference. So really nice rhyme I've learned is, it's like the hey diddle diddle, so say, hey diddle diddle, the median is the middle. You add and divide for the mean. Modes the one you see the most and the range is the difference between. Now that will really help you remember the mean, median, mode, range. Uh, trust me, this trick is very helpful. Like if you forget, you can, can say it again. Uh, I'll just quickly say a little bit again. So says, you go, hey diddle diddle, the median's the middle, you add and divide for the mean, the mode's the one you see the most, and the range is the difference between. Just remember that. Um, then there's like another <laughs> song for perimeter and area. Now, mm, this is for the ones you forget, like, and if you kind of struggle to remember, I mean, you can do perimeter we can measure, add up all the sides, Area is the treasure, everything inside. So that will help you think that, well, the perimeter is the outside of the ship and the area is inside of the shape. So that's another good rhyme. I, um, 
that's I would say if you don't remember a lot, because usually I remember my poem to an area, but for those who struggle, this rhyme will really help you. Then we have median. Now a really cool trick is um you have to always do do in ascending order. Always for, always remember that. So what I would do is um look at the smallest and biggest. So the smallest one is one, and the biggest one is twenty four. Now you know the smallest and biggest. You, what I would do is quickly go through them. So I'll be like, is there a one? Yes, there's a one. So I'd write down a one. Is there a two? There isn't a two. Is there a three? There are two threes. So I'd write the two threes down. Is there a four? Is there a five? And keep on carrying on until I reach twenty four. And if it's there, you write it. And then if you, and then what you could do is uh, just quick, just find the median. And for that, there's a trick. Let's just say, let's just count it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven numbers, so the best way to do that is you go back one, which is six. Now you half six, which is three. Then you add one, which is four. So four is the median of seven. So you find the fourth number, and boom, that number went in the ascending order. The fourth one is the median. And uh, for odd numbers, let's say you're trying to find for five. Let's say half of five. Now it's really easy. But if it's higher, what you go is go one down from that odd number. So let's say from seven, it's six. Uh, so when it's six, you half it, which is three. Then you just add a point five on. So then it's three point five. So now half of seven is three point five. Pretty easy trick, I would say. Um. So those are some nice tricks. And then just really quickly want to to say oh yeah uh for mode not oh yeah a note yeah sorry uh note is to never ever leave a multi-choice question blank just don't do it it's just like um if you're running out of time there are five questions let's say in 30 seconds just guess who knows you might get a question correct if you just leave them you might you won't it's definitely you won't get any correct but if you just quickly mark it in, there is a chance you may get it correct. So never leave a multi-choice question blank. It's like a golden rule of DM plus. Just never leave it blank. So those are some useful time saver tricks. Um, I find them pretty useful. Uh, there's some comprehension tricks, which you can check out my comprehension video. Um, these are some nice tricks just, you know, for maths. That will definitely help you uh, quickly and carefully do it. And these tricks are really nice. I really recommend these tricks. Um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly give you a question for multiplication right now. I want you to do it this way and solve 63 times 48 using this way. Now, please, no calculators. I want you to do this trick. And comment down below if you want to find the answer. And I know you just don't use a calculator. Try and use this trick. Okay, try it out. It's really good. Anyway, that's the end of my time saver tricks video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe. I'll be doing more videos from now on. So any more uh, worries, comment down, down below. I'm planning on doing like a grammar video because someone requested that. Then I might do an algebra uh, simplification video. If you have any worries, please let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe to this video, share it, and I really hope you all enjoyed this. Goodbye.